Hello there geographers and welcome back to the Mr. Sin channel. Today we are reviewing spatial organizations of agriculture. Thanks to advancements in farming equipment, transportation, fertilizers, pesticides, and GMOs, we've started to see major shifts in our food production, some of which have been positive, such as an increase in our output of our food production. However, other changes have been negative, such as concerns over animal rights. Ever since the Green Revolution, we've started to see a rise in agribusiness and corporate farming in many economically developed countries. This industrialization of agriculture has allowed for increased yields and cheaper food due to higher output of agricultural products. However, it has also led to a decrease in family farms due to the costs that come from operating these large-scale farms. Today, industrial farms have created complex commodity chains to help support their growing industry and have achieved economies of scale. A commodity chain is a process used by companies to gather resources and transform them into a good and then distribute them to the consumers for sale. These chains encompass the entire production process from the idea, the creation of the good, the design, production, the distribution, and eventual sale. Now, I also mentioned a concept you might not be familiar with and that is economies of scale. This is when a company can reduce its average cost of production due to increased production levels. Essentially, as companies get larger, they can purchase better machines, systems, and have more access to capital which allows them to scale up producing more of a product at a cheaper rate. Companies that have economies of scale are able to produce more at a cheaper rate, which gives them an advantage in the market. In agriculture, we can see this is just one of the reasons why family farms struggle to compete with large corporate farms. Large agribusinesses have achieved economies of scale. These companies have access to advanced machinery that can quickly produce lots of food, which lowers the average cost of each unit produced. Over time, we've started to see many family farms be purchased purchased by larger farms to consolidate the farms under one business. Today we can see that industrial farming has continued to move towards automation and mass production, reducing the need for human labor in agriculture, all of which is changing not only our carrying capacity, but our agricultural and physiological density as well. Concepts we last talked about in our Unit 2 Topic 1 video. As industrial farming grows, so does the average size of a farm, all of which we can see here when looking at data from the U.S. Department of Agriculture. Notice how over time, the the amount of farms in the United States has decreased, while at the same time the average farm size has increased. We can take this further and look at agricultural production in the United States as well, where we can see total agricultural inputs have remained low over the years. However, total agricultural output has significantly risen. The Department of Agriculture states that this is due to innovations in animal and crop genetics, chemicals, equipment, and farm organization, which have enabled continuing output growth without adding much to input. As a result, even as the amount of land and labor used in farming declined, total farm output nearly tripled between 1948 and 2019. So we can see the impact that technology has had on how we produced our food and how our agriculture is organized. These changes in agriculture have led to some recent debates on how we as a society should produce food. On one hand, we can see that we are producing more food than ever before. But on the other hand, we are also starting to see the consolidation of farms, concerns over animal rights and worker rights, and more chemicals and antibiotics being used to produce our food. But that debate is for another day. Let me know in the comment section down below what you think. And while you're down there, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and check out my ultimate review packet for more help with your AP Human Geography studies. As always, I'm Mr. Sin. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time online.